Hi ARC fam, this is Laura and my video today is all about creating and sticking with your own home yoga practice and some tips and tricks you can use to make it a daily part of your routine. Creating and structuring an entire practice can seem really daunting at first, but I assure you it's not that complicated. We're going to strip it down to the essentials, cut away all the stuff that doesn't matter, and hopefully leave you with a few simple habits that will help grow your home yoga practice in a way that you enjoy. Let me know if you try any of these tips and tricks and if they help you get on your mat a little more often in these work at home, stay at home times. First, unroll your mat somewhere you actually want to practice and then leave it out. Having your mat laid out in a really noticeable place is a surefire reminder to do your daily practice. It's also a misperception that you need to be practicing yoga at home for an hour every day. That's simply not the reality of most of our lives, especially when we're having to adapt to many, many changes. Even if you were previously going to the yoga studio several times a week for an hour or more, that just might not fit into your life right now. So you know what? A 10 minute, 15 minute, or 20 minute yoga practice is just fine. 10 to 20 minutes is a great span of time to use daily and it is enough. Firstly, we can all find time to carve that amount out whether it be during a work break or after work or a little bit of time in the evening. And second, it's more approachable for us to get on our mats when we're not thinking that we have to devote an hour of our time to it. So anything is better than nothing. And even 10 minutes of yoga is better than zero minutes of yoga. And that should be enough motivation to help try to make it a daily habit. There are many ways to get even 10 minutes of yoga into your day, but I encourage trying to start your practice laying on your back and using a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt or anything you can really find around the house. But starting in a reclined position allows your body to come into the practice, switch off your standing or sitting mindset, and allow you to feel grounded as you begin this 10 minutes. If you have a little bit of familiarity with yoga, just choose poses you enjoy. You often hear in yoga classes or elsewhere, people chatting, that the poses that you hate are actually the ones you need the most. And while that may be true in a studio setting, it's definitely not the philosophy we want to have when we're trying to establish and love a new yoga practice. Start by picking poses you enjoy. If you don't like chaturanga, don't do chaturangas. If you absolutely love twists, do 10 minutes of twists. Don't feel you have to throw in poses you do not enjoy or that feel uncomfortable while you're building your home practice. You don't need that to find balance and grounding in your daily routine. As you do your home practice more and more, you'll even find that beyond poses that you enjoy, you start to really tune into your own self-awareness and discover poses that your body needs. You may want to counteract the posture you have sitting to work at home at a makeshift desk. Maybe you'll want to do some chest openers, some gentle back bends, and some other postures that really support countering the movement you spent during the day. Tune into that deep inner need inside your body and see what your body feels like doing. And as long as you're tuning into your breath as you move and as you hold your postures, you're not doing it wrong. If you have a day where you just can't figure out what poses to do, come back to Sun Salutations. Your Saraya Namaskar A and B both offer complete balanced practice options for you and cover a little bit of everything in a short time. Try doing several for a 15 minute time span. Here's an idea for a quick boost of energy that'll really snap you to attention. Do one minute each of child's pose, downward facing dog, and forward bend, and then spend several minutes either at a wall space or in the center of your mat kicking up to handstand. Finish with a few brief headstands, and then for your final pose, take legs up the wall. That'll be a good 10 to 15 minute practice that'll boost your energy and rev you up for the rest of the day. Feel like you need time for a long shavasana to get that practice in and you're not really serving yourself if you don't have the time? Skip it. You don't necessarily need a long shavasana at the end of your short home yoga practice. You get the most benefit from a long shavasana anyways when you spend some time working into it and often you're in a different environment. Sometimes the, your life is racing around you and a long shavasana just might, might not serve you the best in your home practice. Instead, try one minute or two of child's pose, a seated meditation, supta baddha konasana, or shavasana if you feel like it will serve your practice that day. Don't be too concerned about having what we call a balanced practice. When we think of that, you think it has to have 
back bends, core work, forward bends, twists, standing postures, reclined postures, seated postures, and you may not have time for that. Your mini practice can be balanced in and of itself. So first make it a focal point to do your practice. Do your practice. And then that aspect of balance and adding more can come together once that becomes a regular routine in your life. And the more you do that, the more you're going to tap into that self-awareness and you're going to discover what it means for your body and your mind to feel balanced. I also want to share a couple of resources I really enjoy in creating and developing my own home yoga practices. One is this book called Moving Toward Balance, Eight Weeks of Yoga with Rodney Yee. So the beautiful thing about this book is that it guides you through week by week what you can do to start and create your own practice, and it even gives you some anatomical considerations of each posture. This is a great book if you're beginning to learn a little bit more about yoga, and also if you have a little more time to devote both to the reading and to your actual practice. Another great resource to grow your home practice, especially if you like the idea of progression and working towards certain postures, are Jason Crandall's yoga sequences available at his website online, jasonyoga.com. And of course, follow along with the ARC virtual channel. There'll be many practices over the coming weeks in order to uh, sate your practice and give you a little freshness there. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.